Thank you guys. Thanks for coming to see me. What? <laughs> I was on the Facebook event page, so don't be shy. <laughs> now, where are my French people sitting? French people? Oh, c'est dommage. No French people. We have just elected the first ever female president of France. Give it up for France. Woo! Yay! Yay! That's the first. The first ever female president of France. Her name is Angela Merkel. <laughs> Seriously, I was born in the heart of France. I was born in this lovely, magical little place called Italy. <laughs> Italy is the heart of France. Italy is the heart of Western civilization. Don't get me started on that, alright? Now, uh, we have a bit of a rivalry with France, the Italians. It goes way back in history, because uh, we did this thing uh, called um, the Roman Empire. Have you heard about it? Yeah? Uh, the Romans, what they did was they conquered and subjugated... Is that funny to you? <laughs> That's not the funny part. <laughs> I'll take any that, it's funny. Um, the Romans conquered and subjugated all neighboring peoples, including the French, but the French were not up for it. They wouldn't take it. And eventually they got their revenge through a cunning plan. Here's what they did, you're gonna love this. The French, they all got together, they put their heads together, they marshaled all their resources together, and they created a massive Massive comic book. <laughs> and in this comic book, they beat the living hell out of the Romans. It was brutal, man. They defeated the Romans in volume one, and they defeated the Romans in volume two. They routed the Romans in volume three. The film came out with Gerard Depardieu and Letizia Casta. They beat the hell out of the Romans. The Romans never saw it coming, man. The Romans never saw it, really, because the Romans were long gone before printing the scenes were So, yeah. And later what happened was the Italians did this other thing, Renaissance. Any fans? Any fans of Renaissance in the room? Yeah. Well, Renaissance, the Italians did that, but the French came up with the name for it. <laughs> it was not a marketing thing, like perfume, right? It sounds better if it's French. It sounds better. I think these are statues that speak for themselves. No, no, no. It's uh, that's that's called it. Renaissance. You call it Rinascimento. Rinascimento <laughs> sounds like a Brazilian food palette. <laughs> but well, the Italians couldn't really object because they were too busy breaking their back, painting chapels and sculpting <laughs> and drawing <laughs> and designing. Uh, so that was annoying. I think what was more annoying, Second World War. <laughs> when Second World War ended, the Italians were among the losers because the Italians collaborated with the Nazis. And the French were among the winners because the French collaborated with the Nazis. <laughs> but when the war was over, they just pretended they didn't. And why couldn't we think of that? Why couldn't we think of that? That's annoying, right? But if we make fun of the French because we think our stuff is better than their stuff, we think our cuisine is more popular around the world, we think our cities are more beautiful. We think our supercars, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, are better than We think, when it comes to football, we have won four World Cups. They have won only once. So we make fun of the French. Now, can you imagine my surprise when I came to this country and I learned that you guys also Make fun of the French. <laughs> how do you do that? In what universe? How, how does that even work? Yeah, the bloody French might with the world finest cuisine, number one tourist destination in the world. What a bunch of losers, the French. <laughs> Still hanging on to their industries, car industry, airplane industry, energy, transport, rigorously in French hands only. What a bunch of freaks winning World Cups with actual goals where the ball actually crosses the goal. <laughs> they think they're better than us. They think they're too good to be subjects of a royal family in this day and age. Smart pricks. What a bunch of losers, the French. Stop doing 
doing that. Look, I know the biggest flag you give to the French. They surrender early. You know, I've got a degree in international security. And tonight, I'm going to tell you why the French surrender early. Do you want to know? Yeah. Because they don't live on a fucking island. <laughs> Have you ever had 200 kilometers land border with the Deutsche Reich? <laughs> French, and since the Battle of Hastings, so have you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. I think I can imagine, uh, before I just came up, I just got engaged to a French lady. Um, I'm so proud of you for the next show she's coming down for. <laughs> And I can assure you, having rounded with her on at least a weekly basis for the last two and a half years, they don't surrender that easily. <laughs> some of these fucking arguments have going for months, I assure you. But there is some um, complicity going on as well, I can agree. Uh, folks, uh, 